Uh, I got phone on the other side that we are at the other side of the discussion segment. And also to, uh, this morning we have a guest with us in the studio. You've already seen him. He's uh, Chief Barrister Chidi Ames Ezu Domonachi, uh, MDCEO Sina Torch Limited Real Estate and Construction Company. Aina Sigi, welcome. Dalo, thank you. All right. Thank you. And I still have my colleague right here with me this morning, Adjolo Chiko, or Kavwe. And uh the one new work will be fine, yeah, no, because I'm a resuming can no need in the monachi now. But then it's well. Uh, we'll you... <laughs> All right. Uh, just to let you know that the topic we'll be looking at this morning is a green and livable Anambra housing and real estate development to the rescue. That's what we'll be exploring this morning. Uh, I'm gonna ask to see I soon in by a so no you both call your bona well to see a by Sabia this morning. Each other corner chat about Wednesday, but side AG as to see Boe Wetalo no him and me. Mana Dickan or Brussels on the book I never tell this program. We'll try to break it down, but in English language and Igbo language. Call your bona well to see a not at all. All right, um, coming to you, um. I'm going to get my chief called Barrister. Okay, Chief Barrister. Chief Barrister, Chief Barrister. He has a lot of estate development. I think we can go to Kedo and Wen Masi to decide to you know, go into construction and estate development. Okay. But um, actually prompted you to go into that. I'm up, I'm up, I'm a lot of people now buzz into that this is but don't worry here get make get part of it or if you go like going to school cuz at no way at the point in your life you decided that this is what you want for yourself. Okay, I think that's a, that's a that's a very good point. Um because I'm a lawyer. I was called to the Nigerian bar in 2011. So this is my 12 years as a lawyer. And then I fell into a trap. Someone let's say money, Nana Brown, 2013. I know let's say where I for about four years. Anna my budget then. When I wanted to invest in Anambra, so I paid for the land 1.5 million, three plus 4.5 million. Where it on the budget no. So when I came back four years, four years later, to come and take the property. Because I let's say may be very good friends. So I assume the property is in order. I assume also he has done due diligence. Now the end we're issue because now the one then near let's say one then near long story cut short. So by the time I came back to now take up the property and begin to fence it. But and all the bidi no all can can he go fence? Some youth some boys buta kusi ayolo. A man na na no just say and all just say and all. So in the end cut short starts that particular property. But state go own property, Anambra state government property, oh. not even owned by him. So by then, and I came back to Anambra, I said, two Ministry of Land, two Ministry of Survey, Survey Department, and I said, chatting. So from the chatting, I found out that the land is inside Anambra state government property, not a family land like he mentioned. Unfortunately for me, even as a lawyer, I fell into that trap. So, and because the guy who showed it to me, I wrote a petition against him, one thing led to the other. He transferred the same money, three million that same day, and then spread the remaining 1.5 million for about a year. Every day, that took away 20,000, one took away 30, one took 10. He kept on paying those money in piecemeal, and I collected my money back. So for that, I took a decision that I will not let someone else pass through me and go through the pain I went through. So because of my pain, I now want to bring people out of falling into similar traps here in Anambra. That's the main reason why I got into real estate. But before that, I schooled in Aberdeen, I schooled in University of Aberdeen, did a master's in University of Aberdeen, and then moved to University of Manchester, Salford, did a master's in international commercial law. So came back to Nigeria, then a friend of mine in America invited me. So I went to New York. So now when he auction, he buys equipment, caterpillars, vehicles, and imports to Nigeria. So one of these days, I went with him to an auction. I looked at the auction ground, now when he go now, he build for auctions, now he go one or two things. So, he asked me, Chidi, won't you buy one or two things too? So we can pop in the same container. We go to little, little equipment, little, little tools, like handheld roller, concrete mixer, lots of little tools, little equipment. Throw it into his container. So the thing came into Nigeria. And as he was selling his items, I sold mine so easily. Even as a lawyer, I'm full of this thing I'm not a cool business club. I now went back to the US. Went for other, bid for other auctions, got other machines, bigger machines. I'm like, I knew but I go after going there. And I bought bigger machines, brought them into Nigeria. For the next six months to a year, I couldn't sell. Now, because it was easy for me to sell the first one, but this time I wasn't able to sell. 
So for months he was staying idle. A friend of mine now told me, Chidi, this machine is set up wherever. Why not begin to lease it? Ne lease ne every day, ne water small, small money. So he began to assist me, help me lease it to people who've been asking about because I don't shop here can do about those equipment. So sometimes he would give me five thousand per day, ten thousand, twelve thousand, fifty thousand. So hiring this little equipment. I found out for the space of six months, I had made the money at which I bought the machine. And the machine is still my property. That means I should stop buying and selling. I should not only buy and lease. So that's how the leasing started. From the leasing, most people now come to me directly to lease my equipment. So when they come to me to lease my equipment, some of them assume that I'm an engineer, which I'm not, I'm a lawyer. But now what I did was I now recruited engineers, architects, surveyors, town planners, and so on in my office. So their job is now when I get these projects, I hand it over to the team. The team will go and deliver it, and I take the credit. That brought me into construction. And from, from leasing equipment to construction, and from construction also here in Anambra, most of the real estate companies you know in Anambra, I did the development for them because I have the caterpillars. I have all the equipment for development. So most of the times, they engage me to go and develop their estate. So from developing their estate too, and I found it's wise me too, to also begin to buy my own estate because that's when I learned, learned how they acquire this equipment. So I now moved into acquiring my own equipment, now known as Amazon Estate here in Anambra. Okay, you can yes. see that on the screen. Yes. All right, and let's uh, in my topic, I will a green and livable Anambra. And I know he here, Governor Ibono, not to Anambra State, everywhere, Gadi, you know, on your potter or Malana, this is actually a uh, Dubai in Africa. Yes. Now, um, I just jump now, but Kedoka, Unuabu estate developers, so guess we're joining forces together with the state government, Kanambra, when we this kind of uh, greenery and livable environment, our governor is always, you know, preaching, no to a Kanambra State today. I mm. with uh, thanking His Excellency Mr. Governor, Professor Charles Soludo. He's done a whole lot to ensure we have a green, livable, um, prosperous Anambra. But I bring it back home. If I bring for government game all alone, we too have a major role to play. So for us, like for, for, for us in Amazon Estate, our estate, okay. what we did there, we've planted 3,000 organically grown flowers. Presently, as we speak, we have it in nurseries. Reason is, I bet construction work has taken over virtually everywhere. It be for concrete, cement, pavement, everywhere. We've forgotten, we've moved away from what it used to be back in the years. We have be no, no, more than where coconut, plantain, or so. I go work in the morning, balonkali, balonkali. We don't have that anymore. So we thank His Excellency who has brought up, brought this back. Some months back, coconut. Coconut and palm seedlings. And palm seedlings. Kenya to every local government. So that way, and then the Watachalia have planted this in their homes. So give or take between the next, and these are these are these are special breeds, yes. special breeds, yes. special species, high, good species, high exactly high species. Species. So in the next three years to four years, most of these things get to go. Hmm. Over time, if you get like coconut and palms, and this year, come on, in homes, which is another means of making money and saving money, and saving money too. So it's just unless we thank him for what he's doing, and then for us too, we also need to do more. Like I've taken this initiative to plant three thousand organically grown flowers within our estate. Others too can emulate this. Before you know it, the green that we've been looking for. And then we know green is life. Okay, plants are an egg, maybe can they produce like oxygen and egg. Oh, yes. So it's crucial we return back to the and this will help reduce a lot of health challenges anyway. Going back to plants, going back to greens. I think that's very crucial. Well um it would be very, very laudable and it's no marker because we really need to like uh, conserve the, the earth yes. that we live in, you understand, and make it more conducive. Uh, but now, responsibility of government, provision of, I mean, protection of life and properties, mm -hmm. roof over our head, like you rightly said that government can't do this alone. Mm -hmm. Now, is there a regulatory body mm -hmm. in, I mean, the estates um, section of the economy mm -hmm. that regulates how estates should be built? and the facilities that should be in it. Because sometimes you hear people tell you, uh, we'll build uh, underground sewage system, mm -hmm. we'll build interlocking stones, we'll build this. At the end of it all, you, you, get, you, you, you don't say anything. Mm -hmm. On where you will, maybe you're on the planning committee of Anambra, that's in the mm -hmm. Ministry of Works, that go to check that if mm -hmm. all these things you guys advertise, you actually put it so that people don't get conned of their hard-earned money. OK. That's, that's also very important. Um, there's a uh, under ministry of lands, town planning department, under ministry of lands. 
town planning departments, their role is to plan the estate, approve a layout. Like for us, I, let me use myself as an instance. Our Amazon estate, they are approved by Ministry of Lands under town planning. So what we did is, in where certain number of land each is well estate, you write an application to the Commissioner of Lands and Ambra State. Commissioner of Lands, a minute here to town planning. Town planning a consultoire, the owner of the estate. For a for physical inspection, take a physical inspection. He send the offer the survey plan of that estate. Eh? From the gate, like if we design there, eh? road should be here, plot should be here. They also determine the size of plots. Like town plan in Anambra, just like our Amazon estates, the minimum square meters they've approved is 500 square meters, which is above one plot. That's one plot and a fraction. Quite a both small, small, one plot. So here, they design the roads, design the size of the plots, design where should be green area, design where should be open spaces, which is exactly what they did for us in our estate. That way, in we they go mandated to do these things. And then by the time they finish it and approve it, So you can't plan no it. alterations. You you are not going to the you want to see the state that they go, your hands are tied. That's why we also thank His Excellency Professor Sudo. During his this is tenure, the Commissioner for Lands, have they brought up a new measure? Although as they thought before, you wake up anybody wakes up and says they are a real estate agent, mm. they are realtors, they are developers. For you to be approved, like in IFO on the first of December, twenty twenty three. There's a publication that came out from the Commission of Lands. Yeah. Everybody is the names of companies, names of estates, they approved by Anambra State Government, which Amazon Estate, our Amazon Estate is also part of it, was approved. Why? Because as a lawyer too, I already know what should be done, what not should be done. So you get to apply, yeah. What I approve a gazette, before before you can now say that you are now a real estate. Before you begin to say Nini and Le for people to come, out, exactly. to come and buy and then exactly. start building. So they must give you that approval. If you don't have that approval, that means you're here and you're still doing it on your own. And that is where people might be vulnerable in order to maybe probably lose their money. And the unfortunate thing is that a lot of persons are vulnerable. Lots of persons have lost lots of money, including myself. Hmm. Why? Because these measures, government also needs to look, begin to look into strengthening that procedure, strengthening this enforcement, and ensure that practitioners these are realtors, real estate developers. If I say that they do it to the letter. Because if not, you want to get it. You get a product to 500 square meters, 500 square meters or so. Metas are how we can get from 500 square meters, they reduce it to 200 or 300 or 400, which goes be above, which goes contrary to the approved yeah, to the plan. Yeah. So any plot, LSG, like in Amazon Estate, any plot, LSG, you take it back to Ministry of Lands and confirm the size of LSG with the size then a file. Minister of Lands. Okay, now, uh, talking about the kind of houses that are at the place, it might not be mm. a prototype kind of mm. house. I think you know mm. this kind of house. Okay, girl. Now, uh, the Ministry of Land called the Kuala, like only acquire a particular a mm. number of plots. So, Ministry of uh, that uh, land called the Libya, make a question call no one called the Libya, since it's your estate, the yes. estate you're managing. Ibia Malo, Nana, look what you hear according to specifications. Uh, unfortunately, enforcement is still a problem. Okay. Enforcement, if you need any, this is the right thing to do. But unfortunately, enforcement hasn't is not that strong as it should be. That's why I said government should strengthen enforcement okay. aspect, because it is, I think government believes once it's been approved, now Senegal, hello, uh, bungalow in this area, mm -hmm. lot duplex in this area, five bedroom duplex in this area, semi detached and detached and stuff. You don't now begin to monitor and on family if I ask they are now So that's where government needs to come in. And the government puts more interest in monitoring and ensuring that what is on paper is what is on ground. I think part of these problems would have been solved. You know, so it's, a, it's, it's, it's partly the developers and then partly the government. It's, there must be a synergy between these private practi practitioners and then the government of the day. Mm -hmm. mm. Housing presently in Oka, mm. specifically, is very, very expensive. Amazon and other real estate managers, mm -hmm. do they have the civil servants or low income earners factored in into estate and or source of on the Diego? Okay, that's really a big issue. Very big issue. Because in Anya, uh, I also try to use myself as an instance. Amazon is the same way, location is the same way for low income earners, medium and high density area. Reasonable. 
low density area both on the J go in yeah. So you be by fine a level one thousand square meters, which is two plots and extra minimum. Okay. It's a medium density. You may be like seven hundred, seven hundred fifty, six hundred square meters. But low density was it. But high density boy bend the mortgage where you can build the block of flats yeah. that people can now begin to buy them in apartments. So in our head we know it's not just for the rich. It's also not just for the medium class. And it's also not for the lower class. Eh? We've made things I eh, zone le zone. This is zone A, zone for medium class, zone B for the high class, and then zone B, zone C, three zones for the middle class. That way, Malo class and Gego Gibu, it's a diamond. So we have in our head organized because it means just for the low income earners. It becomes a challenge for you. How about the high end earners? They too also want to have a piece of what we do. Yeah. So I make a provision for each and every one of them where a person, the Mamas and Estate. Which I also advise all other real estate practitioners, all other developers too, yeah. to also make plans because in Nanyefu, cost of land alone now, Nanambra. I do not want to The properties you see in Omanachi that are freaking expensive. You will call 10 million, 8 million, 5 million. How many low income, how many ordinary Nigerians can afford five yeah. million to buy land? To, to buy land also. You go to the and you go and you get So you see, it's almost, almost impossible for low income earners to own properties. But that's where government needs to come in. What government needs to do is to strengthen the mortgage banks and create more awareness for the mortgage banks. Hmm. Most of us may not even know much about mortgages. You think but, uh, yeah, it's true. I, I, but I knew I knew a little bit of mortgages yes. uh, based on my stay in Lagos and in the north because exactly. I I school there and I knew people that benefited exactly. civil servants that yeah. benefited in houses mm. they owned by mortgage banks. Okay. But I don't think it applies much for state civil servants. Yeah, and Abukali for federal civil servants. Mm. Even the mortgage banks were the state-owned ones. Even the mortgage banks empowered, 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 empowered by the state government. No, not necessarily. Uh, I'm not too sure about it. But I'm on the mortgage banks is not just for federal workers, it's for Nigerians generally. But what part of the requirement is that you form a cooperative. From the cooperative, you can now apply mm. and get this. That's what I that's what I mean. Awareness must be more. The government must look for ways and create more awareness and strengthen this bank so that more, more persons matter about mortgages. Eh? More persons can now subscribe and benefit from it. Uh, but Chidi, mm. as a businessman, mm. if you, as a only knowing to the business, sells mm. this idea, mm. you understand, and now say we have a cooperative of ABS, mm. let's say about a hundred people yes. as a cooperative, mm. and then you're now meeting the government to say, okay, fine, we want to build accommodation mm. for these people. Mm. Don't you think no, you can't wait, wait as only no good in the business because mm. government can know. Apart from Doggy, mm. they know that that money is not going to go missing because you're already in the business. It becomes a lot easier. You build it, and then gradually the, it, it begins to be, you understand, taken from the income of the cooperative members. Cooperative members. Yes, we, we tried that sometime last year. We approached Figura Mortgage Bank, the Naoka, just before our room, along the express. We spoke to the man in charge. What and what we need to get involved in. We feel the form submitted. Now they requested us to go look out for cooperative. When did they go organized? Mm -hmm. Put go themselves together. Show this facility. <coughs> eh? We now explain to them and bring them, maybe one of the heads or two of the heads or so, so that you can explain to them more about for how cooperative works. Fadi organized a certain amount of money. Addition at the end, a particular amount of money that can fund that particular land. For the cooperative, mostly, mostly lands, mostly buildings. buildings. Oh, no. Bungalows, duplexes, or so. In the salary, in the money gone in the early, they can now check how much can you can you can you contribute monthly. A spread they get within 10, 15, 20 years, or thereabout. I am all I am about the Federal Mortgage Bank funds the private practitioners, yeah. the property developers, funds us. Or fund I am I am one, I don't know. Federal Mortgage Bank will give us the loan, the money. I am with the money. No, I don't know. I don't say I don't know. We hand this 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 keys, turnkey project. We hand these keys to individuals in, within that cooperative. The job of federal mortgage bank will now be to now keep deducting monies from source, from your salary, monthly, monthly, till like 10, 15 years. 
which makes it easy for everybody. Mm -hmm. Of course. So, okay, that way, let's see, each other, this is going to 10 million, 15 million. We go go on it, we go on it. And apart from that, you go to go down the 5 million, 10 million. Cost of building are big on it. Building materials is no longer as it used to be now. Exactly. Skyrocket the prices. It go road, you are 16 million road, they're going to call. They're going to call two months ago. It does increase from what it is today. So, even after buying the land, it's almost still impossible for you to okay. build the house on it. Okay. So, as the onion of wine to construction, mm. do you also build houses and sell to people? Yes. Okay. That's our core competence. Okay. Like in Amazon Estate, we mm. build houses for individuals. Okay, not just to sell the land, no, you build houses. No, okay. no, no, no. Our job is not just that's the gate house you looked at. We've done the gate yeah, house. Yeah, I saw that. We also done the drainage, the road networks, perimeter fencing. We'll fence the entire estate. It's about 10,000 square meters. We'll fence the entire estate. It is a Secure the okay. entire estate. This is the gate house. Mm. So, you know, if, the reasons why we did this is so that you come in and come into a gated community. Mm. The good is secured already. So, you don't have to now pay for access to your. Most of the times, you go and. And because I wanted to ask that question, uh, he convinced mm -hmm. there are reasons why people should actually uh, go into you know, buying land or properties mm -hmm. now, estates yeah. like this. Yes. yes, I know truly that when we go and go and ask them of their money up to today, mm -hmm. I think you know a particular estate when you go there, a blue off your key for throughout. So, can do plans, can do take a senior, can do model, yeah, that confidence, that trust and confidence, can rekindle where. And all that. Mm. Uh, the thing bo, eh, because I'm going to be like, mm. which I'm part of it, I'm going to for me too. And once you, once beaten, I say, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to be like, I put a city name on the estate today to add to it. Well, come on, it will inform my government and it is no, no. You must do what I call due diligence. Mm. Due diligence for each one. Community, ah, can don't do one here. Can don't you let's say go on anyway? Can don't you let's see on your say again? Those are questions you must ask. Can this one add anyway? And you want all the encumbered now. Exactly. That's the only place you can know the root title. If not, it's not normal. But any other one aside, the will they go? Why will they go? Go. I had another problem. So until you fall into it, you will know another something. So the best bet is ensure you do the due diligence. And even the company selling the land, company I advertise here, you must find out what is the track record of that company. How long have they been in it? Just like our company, Senators, Senators Limited Construction Company. Senators was incorporated in 20, August 16, 2011. So this is our 12 years of practice, 12 years of existence. Two phase of doing construction. And I have a office side, no care back. So it's seven out there. No care about them sites. So if these companies have stayed this, you check the time the company was incorporated, who are behind these companies? Those are questions you can, they are public knowledge. You can find out who is the director of this company, who are subscribers in this company. You must do this, find out. Man, you need the man because he got up on in today's Nigeria. He make 100,000, this is 1 million, this is, he will go to 5 million, go to 1 million, I come no. No, so you must do, you, in fact, the duty is on you as an individual to do this search and confirm that what you are buying into is correct before you buy into it. But one other thing I always tell people is always engage a lawyer. Okay. Engage a lawyer. Engage a lawyer. Not just me. If you engage me, fine. But engage, find a lawyer that you must engage. Okay, Reason. you are still practicing, right? Of course. Okay. Find a lawyer to engage because the lawyer knows where to ask questions, mm -hmm. knows what to ask. Knows who to ask. Oh, my chagi, such a nina. Since I go ahead, quickly you can go ahead. But also, you don't go ahead, get also an enemy. So, make sure you engage a lawyer before you buy properties here in a number. It will help you a whole lot. You know, you want to have most of these challenges. Okay, for interested um, house owners in Amazon Estate, mm -hmm. uh, what do they intend, services and packages, mm -hmm. do they intend to enjoy? If they want to you know, key into doing business with you, okay. We because we're a construction company, it's easy for us to promise and do what we promised. Because I'm with equipment in Asia, Lolo, where bulldozer, excavator, grade, daro, la paper, where the capacity, where the staff strength, where the engineers, the architects, the surveyors that deliver these jobs. So we're not afraid to get it done. I think I game here, we'll do it. Just like we promised, we're going to do get house. Get house is already there. Just like we also promised, we're going to do the roads. Our caterpillars, you saw them working. 
they're already there working. Reason being that if most companies that don't own this, that don't have a construction company, will find it difficult to develop it. Development had to be easy. To hire Caterpillar in a day, Bokocha Ego Dezo, Bokocha Ego Hire, Bokocha Ego Transportation, Bokocha in a day, multiply by 10 days or two, or get a lot of problem. You work here to say, earlier. Because the volume of money involved in it. But because we have these machines, we own it, it's ours. We're not afraid to just say, see if I want to call Saipo only this one. I'm start going to Saipo. We move this to site immediately. So part of what our clients enjoy is perimeter fencing, which we fence right around, the security house, which we've done the security house, good road networks, we'll create the road networks, create the drainages. And we've planted, like I said, we've planted 3,000 organically grown flowers. Hmm. Dwarf Isora, Yellow Ficus, Moraya, and lots of these flowers. they good for you and I, good yeah. for our health. It's already interesting. And we created a, I might have about 10 plots. If I had 10 plots, I'm able. We planted Odala, Popo, Mango. No more day to day fruit, I'm get my I don't have Imagine now to buy sour soap. We put sour soap here for I say 25. How many persons can afford it? My new good sour soap seedling will cost you less than 500 naira. It's in your name. Two, three, four, five years. If you put it, you're So you stop paying to five to buy just something small. Banana too. We have a banana plantation within the estate. Some of these things here in I planted within these 10 plots is for residents of Amazon Estate. We also have the five side football pitch. We also have the basketball court. We have the clubhouse. The clubhouse will house the bag and tennis, long tennis, table tennis within that clubhouse. I have a mini store within that clubhouse for residents within Amazon Estate. So these are just a few of benefits um, our clients will take, will enjoy when they buy into. Is it going to be central? power system or every person to your tent to Israel with your generator set? No. What we did is we haven't gotten to that level of doing centralized power. Okay. And indeed that's all the problem of power in, in the country. So it's still a big issue. For us to say that we're going to do central power system, we keep here at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> but what we do is we, we have plans to provide transformer. Okay. An in-house transformer for Ghana power, Amazon Estate only. Okay. Okay. All right, um, I got to continue with our discussion right here now, ABS TV this morning. But um, there are people we actually talk to and uh, uh, we ask them questions concerning what we are discussing today, housing and real estate development in Anambra State. And let's listen. Kaima Lefi family who was our topic of discussion this morning. to have one property to your name at least uh, once in a year or once in two years very important then uh, the government can come in through provisions of um, land for uh, people to uh, invest in you know, um, when the government uh, make land afford affordable uh, people who at uh, uh, all levels of um, you know end meet can uh, afford to invest even if it means uh, making payments in installments then give them a period to pay off. I think uh, His Excellency Professor Charles Chukwu Masenugo has actually begun the journey of making our land livable for all. That is if you have property companies, businesses that are perhaps headquartered or situated somewhere in Lagos or other areas who can come back to Anambra State. The government is doing well by work securing our state, hosting security agencies and harvesting our vigilante that is employing our boys and girls within Anambra State giving them security apparatus to walk around the states and ensure that we sleep with our two eyes closed. In real estate, people are ready to invest, but the cost of investing in real estate is so much, like uh, getting uh, approvals and all that, CFO and all that, is real to on the high side. If government will help uh, the masses, in a way, this is already our land. 
this is already our land. If they can help, I've, I've been in, in places that I know know what it costs to get um, to get like C of O to register through all those registration. I've been. In, it's only the, 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 the people that are well placed that can afford that. So if there is anywhere they can reduce. The, can for the, the new Milo 3-in-1 Milky and Creamy is truly milky and contains calcium. No need to add milk for that rich creamy cup which helps to nourish and energize your kids. Hello, I'm Barista Chidi Amazing, CEO of Senator Slim Tech, a real estate and construction solution company with the global mandate building affordable luxurious homes delivering excellent construction services. For the past one decade, our DST Town Umbra has recorded huge industrial transformation, unlike the previous years when people were skeptical about the Akuluan concept. But today, we have our international airport, we have the second NJP jungle in construction, and so many other huge transformational projects all ongoing. With this in view, we at Senators have been developing and designing new approach to modern day real estate. I am proud and greatly honored to present to you the face of real estate scientist, to present to you our newest estate, Amazon Estate. We are glad to have you part of this journey. I am Barista Chidi Amazing, CEO of Senator Slim. The new Milo 3 in 1 Milky and Creamy is truly milky and contains calcium. No need to add milk for that rich, creamy cup which helps to nourish and energize your kids. Still in the studio with Barista Chidi, MD Amazon um, Estates and uh, Senetorch um, Construction Company Limited. We are still talking about making Anambra State a green and livable uh, place when we're talking about real estate and development. Well, we heard a whole lot from what people were saying. Um, one of, one of our well, parliamentarians said that securing uh, land is very, very uh, difficult. And I think uh, Chidi will tell us more about how government can actually come in to help have make an ambience have good and will I say you know affordable. Um, affordable housing where do you think government can actually come in to help uh, you people in development I mean in the area of estate development okay, I think um, part of what government can do is to make uh, an, a more enabling environment for private developers like us to come in it's actually the process charge we do Mr. Governor has done a quite quite a while and stuff, quite, quite some stuff already on it. Um, about a couple of companies have been empowered, a couple of companies have received um, some hectares of land to develop here in Anambra. So government did like a public private partnership wherein the government equity is the land and then the developers are given this land to develop and then sell at a subsidized rate. So existence has started that already. We have a couple of them ongoing construction here in Anambra. But government can also strengthen and open it up more for more companies to come into it. Okay. Because without it, like we said earlier, not everybody can afford 5 million, 10 million or so to buy land before it begins to think about what to build on the land. On the land. So government can come in and that way government subsidizes the rate, the, the price of the land. Because the land goes to a very cheap, because land is not supposed to be sold by government. So since government gives this land to these developers, the only contribution of developers is to develop it. That means removing the price, the cost of buying the land. In turn, it makes it a lot cheaper for you and I to afford. So I think government should do more and then incorporate more real estate developers to come in. You said that um, government doesn't sell the land. Mm -hmm. Then how do, do you guys acquire this land? Of course, most of the last, as private practitioners, yeah. we Do you land. go in search of them and now say, okay, this is going to be a viable place to set up um, an estate, an estate, or do you wait for government to say, okay, fine, we want this part of the state to be developed, I mean, to be developed. Who are the interested, um, you know, developers that want to go into this? Can you please uh, shed more light on okay, how these lands are being acquired? For that, being a realtor, if you 
a couple of years, what we do is we look around the environment and we speculate where do we think government's development is tilting towards. Okay. And we go and identify with those areas. Those lands are not free. We buy them from individuals, from communities, from families, and so on. So we buy them, we acquire them, we pay them, and they begin to develop it. So we now go to marketing the property to our diaspora friends and brothers, to our friends within. So bringing them in to come and invest, invest. in our estate. That way, we too are taking major part in bringing investors into an umbrella. Like farmers in the state, I have lots of friends from the US, from Canada, from Europe that have subscribed already and are building their structures in. Without us, most of these guys would not have bought. They might not even be interested in investing in the East. So the uh, colonial <coughs> syndrome is already of reaping course. its dividends. One of, for me. one of the women that spoke when they are Balaj Jordan at the street, somebody mentioned something like uh, be getting a uh, sea of of being very difficult. So people that get with in in Amazon estate, would they enjoy that or would you, can you help them get yes, that we too? Have, our plan is we have, we have applied for a sea of So sea of okay. is in view. And once we get it, what will now issue will now be we get a global sea of war and we'll now break it down into bits. Onye, okay. and any assembly is out of the sea of we have. Mm -hmm. Making it, you don't now need to go and apply for sea of Sea of again. again. Yes. Okay. And I also found out what part of what His Excellency did, Professor Sassolido, is to reduce the time frame for application of sea of foods. Before he applies for sea of it takes a long time. But since inception, since his governor, His Excellency started, they now broke it down within a few weeks or so. Or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Your CFO is out from the date of application to the receiving of the CFO certificate. So we just go the timeline at which mm -hmm. the application is. Assignment only takes a very long yes. time. It used to be a long time, but mm -hmm. now it does as long as it used to be. Okay. All right. Um, just uh, Makandi, yeah, which I had here, yeah, waking in and I this morning. Maybe this is the first time they are hearing of Amazon Estate and probably seen a torture construction company. Can you kind of make me kiss you every chimono? Like, if you have a contact number you want to drop or website that people can reach you on if they are interested in doing business with you. Okay, you can reach us on the phone number 090 6000-1181. 090-6000-1181 or you reach us on our website www.senetouch.com or all the social media handles Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn you can reach us on Senetouch or Amazon Estate. Okay. Mm. okay. Thank you. All right. Um, just before we go, Makanoge Abrazi Wanai he get. Uh, before we go, um, can you do uh, like a word of advice in the Indian number, especially people that can actually afford to get land. Mano no jona to ha kama de galajos na lo hegu hata la fuwe batanike. And then again, uh, your colleagues in the to estate, man, no obi ha ha just no look at ha chon de ha ge me why you and all that. So, what's your general advice to them and also uh, government to ha ge siwe bata ke we made this job called the easier for you people and then people who be na nambra ga enjoy wa this uh, estate na ha key into it. I'm be with the real estate na kwa de me why you. Okay. It is in our interest in growing an nambra making an umbra a, a livable and prosperous state, prosperous state, to desist from that. And then umbra and any, and any good intentions for people, please desist from it. Then coming to advice to the younger ones. For me, I'm a lawyer, this is my 12 years plus as a lawyer. It's just some don't, don't begin to imagine how can I be a lawyer and I'm doing core construction as of today. A lawyer by training and a engineer input mm -hmm. by practice. The point is that you can do anything. You can live right and once if you need even once you find yourself in this situation, make the best out of it. See how I moved from studying law, doing masters and even in England, came back to Nigeria, I want opportunity to get into construction, get into equipment, and I moved into it, notwithstanding what I studied, even to the postgraduate level. So you too listening to us, the younger ones listening to us, can also begin to look around the environment. What are the problems you can solve? Because you are rewarded for the problems you solve. Then now in our environment, there are too many problems, too many challenges. So if you begin to think of being a solution to problems, that solution is what will now make you benefit from it. 
So you'll be more interested in what is around you and problems you can solve, and I bet you, your life will be a lot better. All right. I uh, very want to say a very big thank you to you, Chief Barrister Chidi Ameze. Uh, Bulukwa Ezudu no Monachi, I'm the CEO of uh, Senator Watch Limited Real Estate and Construction Company. Dalarine, for coming to the Dalarine. show. Dalarine. And the boy again to Nanugo Kanyabo Melissa Ezudu Chachoy Bachana, our show this morning. Uh, one of the things in Jiakana, I hear Chidi Fulu, Barista Chidi Fulu, Buna, Obo Neichoy, Ba Intunyaicho, Iguani, Mobicho, Kagina, Inwe, Property. Now, one any of the estate, the name equals the king, a drug. Draw for my Jocha Kemalo. The track records of Ndine Jeku Ndi Chok again her main business. Koya Lo Ebuichi Puta Ipunara Maka Real Estate Developer at a Kato on your Bona. It's not your Bona Bona. Let's not generalize. So, Ogma called the little Imago, you play your game very well. Kagale in Aluge Guginike. Ever kind of a Chinese in general, a Jew opportunity. And I say a very big thank you to the governor of Anambra State. Nihe ni no name, Ifuna Ubudai Bona Anambra State. A green, livable, and a prosperous homeland. Thank you so much, Mr. Governor. Once again, uh, my name is Chidema Oramwa. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.